The bookshop Alehouse is the third micropub to open in Southampton in the last two years. The shop that once specialised in literature now sells a selection of hand-picked craft beers, ales and ciders from across the local area. Owner of the new drinking hall, John Harris, says it's been a project of passion. I've been coming to the, the actual property, the bookshop itself, for a long time and um, when Brian Sadler passed away, there was, I, was, I was kind of determined that I wanted it to stay in the hands of someone who knew how it was. So there's kind of a continuity, continuity of um, atmosphere about it and uh, I was going to say the welcoming environment but if you'd known Brian perhaps that wouldn't have been appropriate. Um, yes, yeah, so that continuity of the environment and um, a local person involved in a local property and a local business. Um, and that combined with the success of the butcher's hook up the road um, and then the overdraft opening while we were doing the development kind of cemented the idea of running a pub. It's been a long transformation turning a bookshop into a pub, but it's given John the time to learn a bit more about a building that's steeped in history. I think the building originally went up in 1901, so to learn that history, like its use as a bomb shelter, the cellars were used as bomb shelters all along these four shops here during the Second World War, um, frontage was actually bombed out and then they rebuilt it to how it is. Uh, the fact that the restaurant just up the road was a slaughterhouse and then according to the building control officer, uh, the vents we have along the front window here are atypical of butchers selling offal and things like this. So all of these things building up, it's been, um, been quite a learning experience. The building has had a colourful past and John hopes that its future is as bright as its orange exterior. Over the course of 2015, pub closures averaged at 29 per week in the UK, but in Southampton, it would appear it's a different story for their miniature alternatives. Micropubs often stock a wide range of drinks that can't be found anywhere else. John believes this element of choice is what brings in the customers. Pubs are shutting at the rate of, what, two a day or something like that, or perhaps even more. Um, but then micro pubs are going almost as quickly. So I think it's, it's not a change in drinking culture necessarily. It's more, from my point of view, it's more people wanting to seize back the power themselves. So I didn't, I for a while have been, there's lots of good pubs around here that I have more than happy to go to, but there are also pubs where um, the beers, generic beers, the big brewing companies, um, are in there and you can't, I like ales and um, like the more crafty bits and you can't really get those in various, very many places. Is it sustainable? I think so. I mean our, our prices aren't, we're definitely not the cheapest around, but we're definitely not the most expensive. Um, we're sourcing our beers from the brewers within, well our furthest brewer at the moment is probably Reading and we've got one on from Wimborne. So we're trying to keep them as as local as possible, really. Ben Treppis, for that Solent.